this is the Oilers up. The girls basketball team played bad Tuesday night. The Oilers fell short 48 to 51. The leading scorers were Mary Corser with 12 points and Haley Taylor with 10. Nice try ladies. Tonight, the girls play Shepard at 7. Go and support. Now on to the ice. Oilers are playing tonight against FNBL. It's home, so go show support. They also play tomorrow at home. Who they play will depend on tonight's results. Are you not playing a winter sport and want to be in shape? Well, here's your chance with Fast Club every Tuesday and Thursday. Meet at the weight room and put in work from 3 to 4. Anyone can join. Go see Mr. Hicks for more info. Frat Top Story. We were around the school and asked some athletes if they had any special pre-game rituals or superstitions they believed helped contribute to a victory. Here's what they had to say. Do you believe in superstitions? Why, yes I do. Superstitions are a very valuable part to my community of my sports. What are your superstitions? A superstition for football is always drink a five hour energy with Johnny before the game, but we always have to tip the cap, cross arms and drink it. Always, has to be that. And then I always put my stickers on my knee brace. Always did, whenever we won. I don't really believe in superstitions just because it kind of gets you worked worked up more before games and stuff. And you don't worry about all that kind of stuff. You're just more relaxed, you know, ready to go. Do you guys have any superstitions? Uh, none that I want to share. <laughs> um, on game day, I always have to have my hair straight or else I'll think I'll do bad. Uh, well, when we were down in Florida on spring break this one time, we ran into, or my dad ran into somebody who knew uh, Trent Richardson and his dad got him a shirt that he always wore under his pads for good luck and uh, so then my dad kind of copied Trent Richardson's dad and did the same thing for me so I always wore the same uh, Superman shirt under my pads for good luck. For like each game, um, first and foremost I have to buy a bag of uh, nuts and pack of the hottest gum I can find and then I have to park in the same parking spot for each game. Do you have any superstitions about winning in any of your golf matches? Yes, for me to win the golf match I believe that I have to have a blue star on all of my golf balls. My ball marker has to be in my right pocket and also I have to leave my cell phone in my car. That's weird. <laughs> Do you believe in superstitions? No, those are for crazy people. Chad, do you believe in superstitions? With, uh... Steve, do you have any superstitions? Yeah, before every football game, I need Jimmy John's, number four, no tomato. And the only two games that I didn't get Jimmy John's were the loss against DeWitt and Zeeland West. So, superstition's real. Do you believe in superstitions? No, I don't. Connor Price, do you believe in superstitions? Yeah, I believe in superstitions. Do you have any? Yeah, before every uh, away meet, I always go and get Pixie, and then um, ever since I started bowling, I never untied my bowling shoes. Do you believe in superstitions? No, not really. Do you believe in superstitions? Yeah. What are they? Before every softball game, we can't stand on the chalk lines. Do you guys have any superstitions? Yeah, what we like to do every time we're on the bus on our away game, for any sport, yeah. is we fall asleep. Together, right next to yeah. each other. We always just put our heads down on the seat, and we just we just lay there together. It's kind of weird. We do it all the time, though. We've done it since freshman year. So. Is it a super superstition or more of a tradition? Tradition, kind of superstition. Gets ready for the game. Yeah, and you always do it. Johnny, do you believe in superstitions? Do I believe or do I have? Both. Neither. No. Do you believe in superstitions? Yes, I do. Can I ask what they are? Secret. Do you believe in superstitions? No. What are your superstitions? Biggest one is probably always wearing shorts at a game, no matter what, no matter the weather conditions, whether it's hot, cold, rainy, snowy, whatever. Always putting them on the same way every time, always wearing the same hat, wearing the same uh, pullover, always growing a beard during football season. That, those are my biggest superstitions I have. What are your superstitions? Um, well, me, Keith, and Eric have worn the same wrestling pants for the past, like, three or four years. And, um, I wear a headband before most of my matches, and I also wear tall Adidas socks and tucky Adidas sign down, so it's upside down. Do you believe in superstitions? Uh, yeah. Can I ask what they are? Um, if 
before games, I don't ever wash my socks because I feel like they get bad luck put back in. So they don't ever get washed? Um, before practice they get washed, but that's about it. Like if I have a bad practice, I wash them and whatnot. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you believe in superstitions? No. Why not? I make my own luck. Do you believe in superstitions? Well, as far as superstitions go, I think all athletes are generally superstitious somehow. So like, you know, you think, oh, I gotta wear the same this, you do the same that. So I try to kind of follow that. I always kind of follow the same thing. But this year in particular, after we lost to Duet, I decided to change to a visor instead of a baseball cap and wear that the rest of the year. I don't know. I doubt it. We won all the games going forward, so maybe it worked, but I doubt it. Superstitions are probably just some athletes like that. I think athletes like to make sure they have all the outside stuff taken care of so they can just play. And so they think of those things as kind of like, outside things that keep everything right. This past week, the NHS held a dodgeball tournament. The tournament raised $270 for cystic fibrosis. Thank you to everyone who's involved. The team that won the tournament was my balls, your face. Here's what two of the champions had to say. How do you prepare yourself for the dodgeball tournament? Uh, you know, Michael Tway, he really took leadership of it all. He uh, gave a nice pre-game speech, couldn't really understand him much, he was foaming from the mouth a little bit, and uh, you know, just seeing a large black man, you know, just really getting into it, it gets you really ready for the game, and we showed up. How'd you feel going into the final round? Uh, confident, you know, we knew that we could beat him, we knew that we got cheated out of it the first time. And so we had to beat them twice, the uh, refs stated. They weren't very good, by the way. We need better refs next year. But uh, we just knew we were going to win it. How did you prepare yourself for dodgeball? Oh, you know, uh, Michael Tway. We were in the locker room. Watched the locker room. Michael Tway really gave us a speech, which really inspired us, uh, brought our hearts up, and, you know, just went on from there. How do you feel about the win? Oh, you know, the win was nice, but uh, the crowd didn't like us. We didn't come for them, though. We came to win this tournament, and we did just that. Good job to the winning team, my balls, your face, for winning, and good job for raising all the money they did for assisting fibrosis. That's it for this week. Follow OilerZone on Twitter, at OilerZone. Subscribe, like, and comment on our videos at youtube.com slash OilerZoneShow. Also, like our page on Facebook at facebook.com slash OilerZone. Check out our new Instagram, at OilerZone. This has been the OilerZone. Until next time. Stay in the zone.